Welcome back. Today I'm with LEGO Assassin 57 and basically we're going to be taking a look at this beautiful NCC 1701A? Yep. Question mark? Yeah. Okay, so beautiful. Um, I mean, I'm really liking it. I've got my bloom settings quite high, so I do suffer sometimes from whiteout with the, the white hulled ships, but uh, I can see you put a lot of attention to your detailing in here. Yeah, the turret's um, kind of... I like the photon, the photon launcher. Yeah, they actually work as well. That's it's really fully nice. weapons, this one. This oh, one's good. got most of the weapons in the game. Accurate so, uh, weapons placements, good. We'll have to check those out. I would suggest you. A bunch of stuff, uh, I would suggest you head to your core. Yes, um, I will get to the core. Uh, do you want a tour of the interior? Because it's got all the rooms that you mentioned, like I said. If you can string each room together into a, a quick uh, If we start path. at the shuttle bay, it, yeah, the shuttle start bay at the right shuttle bay, the through engineering and up to the bridge sounds like a great yep. little tour to me. The only um, other rooms I've got are empty rooms on the side of the saucer. First of all, is there anything you want to tell me about the ship before we go inside? Uh, it's half size of the full ship, and I know that because I've got a magazine on it. <laughs> cool, cool. So you've chosen to make it a half scale, which is nice. Yeah, as yep, I'm yep. going to do with all my starships. Well, it on. makes it more agile within the constraints of the game, doesn't it? So, yeah. Mm. It's also easier to build. So let's just hop out here and head over. Oh, you've got a Riker skin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I made it the day. It's quite nice. That is really funny. And everyone with the has it. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Right, okay, so uh, I take it you're playing with a joystick right now. <laughs> no, I haven't got one. But Riker, and, uh, go, but Riker goes joystick mode. Yeah, I haven't got one, unfortunately. Uh, okay, right, well, let's just uh, head up. So, first of all, yep. yeah, hang about. That's my shuttle. Your shuttle. Yeah. yeah, cool. Uh, it's kind of awkward because uh, my mouse and my talk key are both in the same place, and I'm having to do it with both hands. That's all right. I understand. Lead the way. Awkward. Uh, this is one of my. Oh. Well, we've got some shields. <laughs> and this is one of my turbo lifts that I've redesigned because uh, Voyager was a bit easy to get lost in, so it's spaghetti. So yes. I've redesigned everything to follow through in one path, sort of thing. Cool. So I've got a little communal area in here as you pass through, and there's another turbo lift here. I haven't actually got an engineering on this ship, actually. Oh, what, no warp drive? Um, well, I haven't put that in, no. <laughs> um, there's also little entrances there from stuff, and a little room there. Um, and up here is the main bridge, so... This feels like I'm getting a tour with Jonathan Frakes. Okay. Oh, so this is the nice. main bridge. Um, obviously, I couldn't have it actually on the main bridge, because the main bridge is tiny compared to the size of the actual bridge. So. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty and, cool uh, though, man. I've got all my weapons computers on side behind glass. So I tried to do sort of side firing weapons, which are these. Now seats, that they is cool. Work. There isn't actually anything out there. Nope. Space is empty. <laughs> That's cool though, right? I like it. I like it's kinda it. spacey. Yeah yeah yeah, that works. Okay, cool. I quite like the roof. Yeah. I found that quite well. Like the Voyager. To be honest, that view screen's I like that. It's a cool concept. Mm. So, okay, cool then. Right, well, you better show me the way out. <laughs> yeah, lost. there's actually an exit up here. Oh, well, that's nice and easy then. So, I'll oh, get in goodness. the course, What's that? Okay. What? There's some uh, mysterious ships flying out there. Oh. Uh, I'm in the core. Have I got no... I've got no core. I've got... Uh, um, do you want to know stats? Uh, there's two cores at the back of the ship. No need for stats because the game changes okay. too much and they, I've learned yeah. that they become irrelevant over time. So um, uh, I would be interested to know the height, li height length and width. Uh, length is 155 metres, height is 44, width is 69. And the mass? Is uh, 3,646. Nice. Nice. Uh, do you want to see weapons testing? No. Um, yeah, you can fire them. Yeah, yeah. We do uh, actual weapons testing separately for those yeah. who want to participate, but not on the tonight. So, if you yeah, want to just give them a bar, pulse. My weapons bar is full. Just fire each one of them once with a one-second delay. That'll look cool. Uh, I'll I'll start with the D1000s. Yep. Okay. Uh, I can't actually see missiles, I'm not sure where they come down. I can see them, just keep going, yeah. honestly, don't worry about that, just keep going. That's primary AMC. Yep. Primary photon torpedoes. Oh, very nice, they actually uh, came out from under These there. two yes. ones are meant to shoot sideways, but I couldn't get that to work. Yep, yep. So, Astro Technician. And the, uh, Got any more? I 
think that is pretty much it. So, first of all, I just want to thank you for uh, joining me today. Thanks very much for sitting in line and waiting. You've got a really nice ship here. Nice attention to detailing, use of wedging. Very nice to see it. Grey, white, grey, you know, that's cool. And uh, it'd be interesting to see what this is looking like in the new build. So, thanks again, and uh, thanks to everybody watching. So I'll see you next time.